two weeks ago, the East African Legislative Assembly, which held East plenary session in Bujumbura, the capital of Burundi, one of the contentious issues of debate centered around cross-border legal practice in the region. Uganda's representative Dora Biamukama, who is a lawyer, is the leading exponent after she tabled a private member's bill voting for the establishment of cross-border legal practice. In order to practice in certain partner states, one needs a permit, and in other instances, one may not be allowed to get this permit for a long period of time. A right to be represented by counsel is a fundamental right and a human right. Once passed by the assembly, lawyers from the five member states will be free to represent litigants across the region without requiring state accreditation. Currently, Kenya and Rwanda, which practice common law jurisprudence, have already opened their borders, allowing lawyers from the region to practice in their countries. But the Uganda Law Society says Biamukama and the East African Legislative Assembly should not rush the bill. As East African Law Society, we agreed we want to proceed by mutual recognition agreements. So now that is in conflict with what we want to do as the five bar associations uh, to juxtapose it with a bill. That is not what we want to do. Sebatendila says Biamukama should first consult bar associations and law councils from respective countries. That consultation was never done with us. Otherwise, then, you know, it, it doesn't make sense to have a bill and then the MRA. It has to be one route. So the bill is premature, definitely. To harmonize their legal training and certification. So now that has not been done. It, it would require that uh, the universities must first harmonize the, of the five member states to agree that what can we agree upon as our standard, mean, what are our minimum standards, what are our acceptable subjects. However, Freddy Mukasambide, also a member of the East African Legislative Assembly, shares a different view. Instead of coming up with a law for only one profession, we may come up now with a cross-border trade in the professional services bill, which will take care of all the professions. There are fears in some partner states that once it becomes law, it could open floodgates of legal practice and lawyers from countries which lack a competitive edge will find it hard to stay afloat. There are those things that can, may be peculiar to, to a country. For example, land justice. Our land system is so complicated. Or even the land system in Kenya is very complicated. You just can't walk in as a Ugandan lawyer and start practicing land law. Jingo Francis, NTV Weekend Edition.